here with my boy GHB TV. What up, Greg? I'm chilling. What's up? <laughs> what up with you? Crazy, bro. I'm uh, chilling. Memorial Day weekend. You know what I'm saying? We out here. Yep. I guess we, we call this the deck. <laughs> yeah, we out on the deck. It's hot as shit, that gym. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's going on tonight? Just get back to it Monday. Um, I got to do three days this week because uh, Thursday I'll be leaving for Texas. Houston, Texas with Jerry Martin and his brother, Corey Martin. Corey Martin got a nice little six-rounder out there versus an undefeated guy. Um, oh, wait, you got to give him the government, James Martin, just in case they want to look Corey it up. Corey James Martin, yeah. Um, you know, probably the best underdog in the game right now. Um, Corey will fight anybody, anytime. You know what I mean? Just give him a little bit of time so he can make the weight. <laughs> yeah, you're fighting an undefeated kid in his hometown. Yeah. And, you know, if anybody know, I'm very familiar with that situation. So, you know what I mean? I think Corey going to do great, though. Not because I'm working with him, but because I see the opposition don't look too good for that guy. You know what I mean? There's things that he don't do that he's going to have to pay for. You know what I mean? And Corey going to definitely do it. Corey going to push him. So, right. we my, see what happens. My boy GHB going to take his show on the road, man, to H-Town. <laughs> you want to check You want to you gotta check in? What? Check it with who? Slim Thug or something? Yeah, like that. you want to check. I don't even think I'm going to be there that long. I don't know. We see what happens. If I, if I decide to hit the streets, then I might have to check in. But I don't know who to call, though. I mean, I ain't, I ain't never had to check in, really. They check in with me. They make sure I'm all right. You know what I mean? So, Trevante Davis yeah. stops Rolly Romero. One shot, one kill. Yeah. Sixth round. Yeah. What was your thoughts on it? I mean, it was like... It kind of went the same way that, you know I mean, we talked about the first time Roley was reckless, being disrespectful, putting good pressure on Tank, yeah, but not knowing what to do with the pressure. I'm saying that because, you know what I mean, he was throwing, but the shit he was throwing was like, it was predictable. The thing was Tank had to slow him down. Tank slowed him down by jabbing to the body, moving his feet, not always, not always being there when the guy, you know, is it, it, trying to fire. Um, Roley said a few times, yeah, he was running, he was running. First of all, you can't run in a box. Y'all fighting in a box. Can't run. So I hate when people say that, run. Second of all, the game is hit and not get hit. I'm not going to let you beat me the fuck up. So by any means, I have to, you know what I mean, take, take, take you out of range and set you up for my shit. Um, Tank got caught with a good, I guess you would call it a jab in the uh, second round where Roley Roley threw a right hand, jumped in a little bit. Tank got out of the way of it, but then jumped back in the line of fire and got caught with a left hand. Stung him real good, but not good enough to, you know, hurt him really bad. I think it was more so he felt the shot and was like, oh, shit. And he gripped Tank up. I mean, he gripped Roley up. And, you know what I mean, he got himself together, continued the box, slowed him down, stopped his man. I mean, I couldn't see that fight happening any other way because Roley... Roley doesn't have the pedigree. And what I mean by the pedigree is he don't know what it's like to, to, to change gears and, and, and switch the game plan in the middle of a fight, adjust and switch in the middle of a fight. His game plan is to strictly be stronger than you, um, press forward, um, be disrespectful, um, use his forearms, try to choke you a little bit. You know what I mean? If you go up under him, push down on your neck, things that the referee and Tank wasn't going for. Um, it was, I, it was an entertaining fight. I give it to Roley. He tried, but it happened the way I thought it would happen be, simply because Tank, like I said, he know better. He know better to go out there and just war with a guy that strong. Roley is strong. The problem is when you're throwing so early, so so hard, so early, we call that shooting your load. When you shoot your load, it's kind of hard to recover. If you watch the fight, started slowing down, started thinking a little bit. That's when Tank would get off. One time in the fourth round, Tank threw an uppercut and missed, right? Threw an uppercut and missed. But he said, ooh. Like he knew he was that close to, a, to landing a clean shot. What that is is the fighter feel the other fighter slowing down and opportunity getting closer. It's getting closer because he's not as strong as he was in the beginning of the fight. He's not as fast as he was in the beginning of the fight. I know I'm going to get him one of these times. The heart, the, 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 the thing that I'm finding like crazy is 
Tank putting his, his back to the rope for a reason. That's to force you to throw your shit. Problem is the shit Roley was throwing. Reckless. Wild right hand, left hand down while he threw it. Wild, wild right hand, missed it. Step back, through the same exact shot. Think about that. Yeah, the you, first the, the, the first one landed. Thing he, was, thing might have hit him, but hit him right. where? On his shoulder? No, 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 no. His it, chest? It was, it Think was it hit him in his face? No, it, it was like a succession of three. Yeah. He landed the first right hand, then yeah. he landed the join that missed. Yeah. And then he landed the join that, you know, sent him to the shadow realm. I mean, the thing is, you watch Tank do that same thing to, uh, what's that kid? Leo Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz, except Santa Cruz back was to the rope. But you watch him do that same thing. He timed the shot. He timed that right hand. So, Rolly, here you go again. He built up off of strength. He built up off of motivation, not really skill set. He loaded the right hand up. Well, yeah, he threw the motherfucker. He threw the same shot, hands down, chin in the air. Crack with the left hand that he really ran into. It wasn't a pinpoint left hand. It wasn't the sharpest left hand, but it was a good left hand, loaded up left hand. Ran right into it, got his lights put out. You know what I mean? After that, I really, I really don't think that kid knew where he was. The face, the face he made and how he was looking around, I really don't think he understood where he was at and what was going on, the magnitude of it, none of that. So when he so I understood when when he went in the back and he didn't do the interview. I get it. He couldn't. He had to get his brain together. His brain was still rotating at the time. You felt like it was a good stoppage because some people was like he could have let it. They could have let it go. Listen, you know why they stopped that fight? Because Golden Boy. St I mean, not Golden Boy. I'm sorry about that. TMT, Mayweather Promotions, still got some use for Rooley, and the use is we gonna use you as an opponent for somebody else. So we're not gonna let you get killed. We gonna you got hurt. All right, we keep it at that. That's why that fight didn't continue. Cause they could have let him back out. They let guys back out all the time. Yeah. Sometimes they, you know what I'm saying? But but for promotion sake sake of it, and for the fact that we don't want we don't want this guy who's gained popularity, even through losing, he's gained a lot of fans through losing. Because he lost the tank. He didn't lose to a regular guy, he lost the tank, which is a great fighter. Now we can use him again for another fighter. And guess what? He might win. He might win because in his mind, he the best 135 in the world. Even though he's nowhere close. But they're going to tell him that. LRB said that he think Roley is the number two 135 in the world. It's his promotion. That's his job. Right. So sure. some people going to be leaving. Sure. Um, shouts out to LRB because yeah. there's some promoters that didn't do that job. Don't do their job at all. And well, sure. it's really, if you ask me, if you ask me, it's not the promoters, it's the fighters. Roley promoted that fight. Roley, Roley been on tank ass. He been on Ryan Garcia ass. He been on Devin Andy ass for years. He been talking shit for years. Now you get what you asking for. Here you go. We got something for you now. You know what I'm saying? You built it up. You talked your way through it. The fans was betting on him. The odds was crazy. They was ready. They Everybody was excited. You know what I mean? The first time he hit Tank, the, the, the place went wild. You know what I'm saying? Because they like, everybody thinking they about to buy a new house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh shit, we about to cash out. No, because... When they, when they say it's levels, when they say it's levels, um, you can't you can't just go get a strength coach and say, oh yeah, I'm strong, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, I'm ready. No, you have to be tested and not tested. See, the reason sparring don't mean nothing because you're going to take a lot of chances in sparring that you wouldn't take in a fight. And the reason you're going to take those chances in sparring is because you got a hand gear on, because you got bigger gloves on, you got a bigger cup on, you're going to take those chances. Now, in a fight, under the pressure, under the clock, under the, under the, you know what I mean, the pressure of the crowd, are you really going to be that same guy? Roley is that same guy, but that shit don't work in fights. And it don't work in fights because now, we, like I said, we fight with these eight ounces on and we shooting the kill. You know what I'm saying? We shooting the kill. So he, I'm going to tell you the truth. That coach is good for his ego, but not good for his skill set. Um, no disrespect to the coach, but he not a, he not a real coach. You know what I'm saying? He's like more like a motivator. He's just like, yeah, you winning every round. You got it. You doing this and that. But you're not telling him what he's doing wrong. You're not telling him what he's doing to possibly get him knocked the fuck out. You're not telling him those things. You know what I'm saying? You just hyping him up. And that's what that's what got him cracked, bro. I'm telling you. That's what got him hurt. Because they he's he's running off of all hype. What we call in the hood gas. He's all he got all gas in his, in his back right now.
Was it regular unleaded or was it the super? It don't matter what it is. I premium? Think it, it had to be the super. It had to be the premium. <laughs> I mean, it had to be the 9-3 because he he just thought he wasn't doing no wrong. And when you think you don't do no wrong, something going to happen to you. Just like when you were younger, your parents tell you, yo, there's somebody out there, you know what I mean, that's bad. You think you bad, there's somebody out there that could be better than you. You know what I'm saying? So you go in with a little bit of respect. Crazy thing, I'm glad we on that. You know how Tank keep bringing up the hood and they and, and Rose like I don't give a fuck if he from the hood. I'm gonna tell you what the hood teach you. The te the hood teach you how to deal with men on different levels. When you when you a kid who getting guided by your father, you don't understand that. When you a kid that gotta fend for yourself, you understand like all right, dealing with this guy right here, he's sneaky, so I'ma have to be sneaky. This guy right here. He blunt, he, he right out in the open with it, all right. So I can even go about it that way or I can go about it another way. That's the instincts you pick up in the, in the hood. Roly don't have those instincts. That's why he really thought he was gonna run through Tank. You gotta respect Tank punching power. I don't give a fuck who you is. You gotta respect it. If not, you're gonna end up like Roly. You're gonna end up like Roly.